So this here is Kenny's little introduction to the heavy metal sequence. We tried a couple different things. We based it on the heavy metal movie, which had a Corvette, a little white Corvette. We wanted to do something a little different, so we did a Trans Am. And originally we tried, we, we thought of different ways we could do the Trans Am. One of the ways was we were going to go out and take pictures of a Trans Am because that's how it was done in heavy metal. I think they took a lot of pictures of the white Corvette. They did this whole little Xerox effect on it where they Xeroxed it on the machine and cut out all these different angles and that's kind of how they animated it. But then we got the idea that we should go online and get a real 3D model of a Trans Am. And so we found one online that was three-dimensional and then that way we could do anything we wanted to. We could tilt it 360 degrees, we could get the bottom, we could get the top. You know, if we went out and took pictures of a Trans Am, we would, you know, it would be very difficult to get the underneath. So it worked out great, and our technical director, uh, Paul Hargrave, he went in and kind of souped it up a little bit, and we took the uh, designs of the jet rocket engines and added them to the back. Everything had to be mixed together. We had to do a couple of different things that we usually don't do in South Park. Here we got to play with a little bit of 3D animation and a couple of little effects that we added. And the whole Xerox effect was, was added um, using Shake. Yeah, he needs some sleep in night night, doesn't it, buddy? <laughs>